Hi, this video is to show you how to create a, uh, an email schedule for reports that you have saved in Scissortail. So I've logged in to the demo company as Kathy Watts, the Director of Payroll and HR. And um, the way to create those um, email schedules for reports to be automatically emailed to you or members of your staff or even members uh, of your organization maybe outside of your staff, your CPA or somebody of that nature. Um, this is what you would do. So let's go to the hamburger and under the My Info uh, silhouette, we're going to go to My Reports and then My Saved Reports. And then when we pull this up, we're going to be looking for, let's look for something like um, the birthday list. Okay, so here's the employee birthday list that Kathy has created. Now you can only create the email schedule if you created that report. So if you have a report that you need to create an email schedule for, you're gonna have to do a save view as, and then you'll be able to manage the email schedule. So you can see it here, and if you can't see this icon, you may have to um, do your add remove columns and look for a button that says manage email schedules. Now, if you are inside the report, when you run the report itself, you can go into the three dots, and at the bottom of the list, it says manage email schedules. Both things will get you to the same place. So here's manage email schedules, and all we need to do is add a schedule, and let's say it is our birthday list. And we could put a description in here. We could say how often we want to see it. Um, let's see if we have a day's profile out here. So I want it on the first of the month, which is a very specific thing. So I don't want it every Friday or something like that. I want it on the first of every month. And I want it at, um, let's say, 9.30 a.m and I want it to be sent to me, and I also want it to be sent to, uh, let's say all, let's say the admin managers, okay? So everyone who would possibly manage the employees on this birthday list. And if I wanted to send it outside the organization, maybe I have a, um, company that sends a little birthday gift to my employees for me, I could send that to them as well. Um, and in this case, I'm going to send with my permissions. There's no personal protected information on there, and I can send it to everyone using my permission, or else I could uh, send it with the recipient's permissions, and then those managers were, will only see people on the list that they have access to see um, on that list. <clears throat> now, I'm going to email the report in an Excel format, and it's always going to come from no reply at chronos.com. And for my message title or the email subject, I'm going to use the same thing as my schedule name. And inside the body, I'm just going to say see attached report. And I'm going to say minimum rows is one, maximum rows is going to be 200, or as you can see up here, 3,500 is the maximum that is allowed. So if I said that this minimum would be zero rows, then even if there was nobody on the report, I would still get an email with a blank report. So that's why I always keep it to a minimum of one row. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and you can see I have the list out here. So then when we have the manage email schedules, we can always go out and we can do an email now to test it, make sure everything's coming through the way we want. Good luck.